You need to stoke your inner artist. Like a lot of you guys today just don't have creativity. You know, you didn't grow up listening to love songs. You didn't grow up learning how to, you know, do anything creative. Anything. So in this way, you're just lame, man. You may be smart. You may be a good dude. You may be all that good stuff. But man, it's the, it's the dudes that have an inner artist. A, dude, a, a guy who can actually communicate uh, his emotions through actions. Why do you think singers and art, why do you think artists get all the women, man? Because they can tap into their creative. Now, I made a video talking about take up a cool hobby. If you didn't check that one out, you want to check that out. But what it really comes down to, man, is stoking your inner artist. Look, as it stands right now, science, engineering, technology, math, accounting, uh, law, medicine. A lot of you right brain guys, great. I'm right there with you, but you got to have a way of expressing yourself in your creative zone and cre expressing your creative side. This is a way you will actually let your quote unquote hair down and show a whole different side of your personality. See, don't use style or fashion to do that, but find something. Writing is a great place to start. Here's the reason. One, it's safe. Start writing down your thoughts. Just learn how to get what you're thinking onto paper. If, and actually hand write it out. Don't type it, hand write it out because two birds with one stone. You improve your handwriting and you'll get used to it. Because I believe in journaling, writing stuff down. And here's a good exercise. A, a lot of times it's better to journal stuff down, especially at work. Somebody piss you off, man, go go write it down in your journal and, and, and write it somewhere and set it and forget it. That trip right there is worth its weight in gold. I've written stuff down so many times that I wanted to tell a motherfucker, but I didn't. And it saved my ass because a day or so later, it turns out I was completely wrong. But by sitting around writing, it got it out of my head, right? And I could move on. Writing is a great way to start learning how to stoke your inner artist. Just write, journal. Then if you want to get up to it, man, start writing poetry or prose. Hell, you may even write a novel. You know, before yeah, you get it, get your thoughts out, but it'll start getting your creative juices going. And then the next thing you want to start doing is expressing yourself uh, verbally. This is where the gift of gab. See, a lot of times you guys d don't communicate well because you don't practice. You've never stoked that inner artist. So you're repressed. You're emotionally repressed and cut off. See, when you actually start stoking that inner artist, feeding that creative need, men have a need to create. We give life with our minds. Women give life with their body. And a lot of you technical guys are some of the best artists you just haven't practiced it. So you gotta stoke your inner artist. Writing, journaling, best ways to do it. Then later on, you know, three, four, five, six months later, then if you decide you wanna get into one of the hobbies I talked about in the other video, you do that. But stepwise, stepwise, and the thing is, don't stop. Don't stop writing, don't stop touching the inner artist in you, in you, man. Never let that dude go back to sleep. You need that guy. Trust me. Especially the more introverted or the more right brain you lead, the more you need your inner artist, man. Trust your godfather, man. I'm telling you. This needs to be your role, dog. You know, how you have the little angel and the devil on each shoulder, the, black, the positive and negative sides of your personality. Man, this is, give your inner artist a, 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 a pseudonym. What's mine? Velvet Jones. Velvet Jones is my inner artist. And my inner badass is Pookie Ray Johnson. Pookie Ray Johnson has been my inner badass. But you meet somebody in my family, they'll tell you, you, you don't want to fuck around Pookie Ray. Pookie Ray, Pookie Ray will fuck you up. Pookie Ray predates the manosphere, predates YouTube. Pookie Ray been around since the mid 90s. Pookie Ray is, if anybody knows me, when I go there, oh, I go there. Pookie Ray Johnson. 
Booker Ray Johnson is is that side, and then Velvet Jones. When I'm out and about, I I tell somebody my name, Velvet Jones. Here's the story. I used to go to network meetings, right? And I, and you had to put the name tags on. And what I used to write on my name tag was question mark to get people to come over to talk to you. I'll do a video on that one later. But what I really love to start doing is write Velvet Jones going into these high level corporate function and see non-black people come up and read the name Velvet Jones. And, and because you know, we got some interesting names. They actually think it's real. And some of my existing clients are sitting around me laughing like they're on the inside joke. Often I'll be out at Starbucks and I ask, what's the name for your order, Velvet Jones? And I just wanna see their response. It's a way for me to always keep my inner artist, Velvet Jones. I use Velvet Jones all the time. Hell, you see him in the videos. It is not wrong to have several characters that you play. Velvet Jones is one of mine. Pookie Ray Johnson is another. You know, Pookie Ray don't come out until he after. You're going to stay away from that dude. But yeah, unless you're inner artist. You need, a lot of you guys are, are great dudes. You just got to give yourself a chance to be great. A lot of folks don't realize how funny you are, how witty you are, how cool you are, how smooth you are. It's because, man, you got your inner artist just sitting there. You ain't let them come out to play, man. You ain't gonna let them come out to play and express yourself. You used to express yourself in Dungeons and Dragons. You used to express yourself in video games. You used to express yourself when you was playing with the G.I. Joe and the Army Men or whatever, Legos. Yeah, man, you were creative as a kid, man. You need to stoke that inner boy. That inner boy, that create that, that sense of wonder, that sense of wow, imagining what the world is, what's over there. You know, science was great because it was like magic. Yeah, man, stoke that inner artist. You feel what I'm saying? Let that inner artist come out and play, man. He's been dying to come out and play. And you'll be surprised at how one thing leads to another thing leads to another. And you'll start liking your, you'll be better at the whole image thing, the way you behave, the way you communicate. And, and, and next thing you look up and your goofy, corny, nerdy self be a little bit more smooth. They'll be like, okay, you got a little something, something. Especially when you get your frames, fragrance, and footwear. You get your fit over fashion, quality over quantity. You get your right fragrance on. You got your inner artist. And you learn how to express yourself more. Trust your Godfather. Unleash that inner artist. Peace.